good afternoon everybody today we are going to do a dry land video geared towards butterfly so a lot of the exercises we are going to be working on are working on the muscle groups that you do use for butterfly so we're going to start off with arm swings going forward and then back 10 arm swings forward And arm swings back. Then switch hands. And back. And you're going to bend yourself forward and do a butterfly stroke. Ten butterfly strokes. Good. Then we're going to get a little pull. It can be four feet, three to four feet. And we're going to do arm raises. And when you lift it up, you're going to go try and go behind a little bit so it's past vertical and back down warming up those shoulders And then you're going to bring the pole behind you and you're going to do back arm raises. So Connor, turn to the side so they can see your range of motion. Relax, put the pole down. Then you're going to do streamline extension. So you're going to get into a streamline and then try and lift it up a couple inches higher. It's working your scapula in the back and try and lift up. So we should see some movement in his shoulders trying to get those arms up higher. If you look closely, when his arms are down, you can see a little bit of the trees behind him between his ears and his arms, and then he lifts it up and it's nice and tight. It may seem like a little exercise, but it has a big, big benefit, helps that streamline and works that one muscle group area in the back between your shoulder blades that is hard to get at. And relax. Now we're going to do field goal presses, still kind of working on that same general area. So you're going to put your arms out to look like a field goal, and then you're going to press it up into a streamline. And then when you pull it back down, try and concentrate on those muscles in the back, keeping those elbows a little bit further behind your body. Turn to the side so they can see where your elbows are going. See how his elbows are kind of behind his body when he presses down? When you're done, you're going to get up into a streamline, and we're going to do a standing dolphin kick. Turn to the side so they can see your body undulation. See, it's not just his knees, it's his whole body. He's moving it from his hips, but his hands move forward and back. His chest is coming forward and back. His hips are going forward and back. You see that full undulation throughout his entire body. We're going to get down on the mat, and you're going to do shoulder push-ups. So your arms are nice and straight, and you're just dropping your chest down. You'll see his shoulders lift up. I'll move the corner so we can get down a little bit more. Okay, ready? Ten of them. And relax. 
Now we're going to take the Sphinx move and the downward dog move and add a push up in between. So it's kind of like one fluid motion. So you're gonna press up into a Sphinx, then up into a downward dog. When he comes back down, he'll do a push up before he goes back into the Sphinx. The reason why we're linking these two exercises together with a push-up is because you can see that he has to move his hips in order for this to be a fluid motion and that hip fluid motion is what you need for butterfly. That's it. Now we're going to go up into a downward dog position, bring our legs a little bit closer so you're more in a pike position, and we're going to do pike push-ups. This is putting a lot of pressure on your upper body. So you're going to bring your belly down to the mat. We're going to do back up butterflies. So you're going to do one back up, then bring your hands down and bring it back over like you're doing butterfly. Okay. So we're going to link these two exercises together. Ready? Go. One more. And relax. Now you're going to get a tennis ball. And we're going to do the ball release flies where you're going to exchange the ball from hands in front of you to hands behind you. So the ball will continue to make a circle. And you're going to kind of keep that those legs up off the mat. He makes it look so easy, except for when he loses the ball. All right, put the ball aside. Now we're going to lay flat on the mat. You keep your head down, flat on the mat, chest on the mat, hips on the mat, arms out to the side, almost like in a field goal position, and you're going to lift your elbows and hands off of the mat. Okay, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Perfect. Now we're going to go on our back. This is a new one, again, good for the core. You're going to get into a streamlined position. You're gonna take your legs just off the floor and we're going to do a rocking horse. The stronger our core is, the easier it'll be for you to rock back and forth. Our 
Connor's like traveling down the mat. All right, get back on the mat. We're going to do foot release bridges. So you're going to put your feet firmly on the mat. You'll lift your hips up off of the mat. And in that position, keeping it nice and tight, you'll bring your right leg up and then bring it back down and then your left leg up and back down. Kick right, left. This exercise, Connor's going to try working out to try out for the Rockettes Christmas special. Keep your feet flat in that position. You're going to bring your elbows closer to your armpits. Bring your elbow, bend your elbows in. And you're going to try and push yourself up off of the floor only using your elbows. So this is like a reverse push up. more. That one's a hard one. All right, stand up, arms out to the side, and we're going to twist side to side. Bring the camera back up a little bit. feet together. We'll do a hamstring stretch. Exhale, try and go down deeper. Hold that stretch. Bring it back up. Let's do one more. See, got down a little bit deeper that time. Let's do a standing quad stretch. Use your other arm for balance. And relax, switch. And relax, let's do bicep tricep stretches. Switch. Out to your tricep. Relax and switch. final stretch is our streamline stretch get nice and tight bring it all the way up bring it over to one side up to the other side and up and relax guys have a great day we'll see you again tomorrow